What is up guys, Zach Scott here playing Animal Crossing New Horizons and I guess I forgot to get an item from a Zipper here. I didn't realize it because I thought that when you get every single item he gives you that doll of him or whatever. But uh, let's see, let's see what it is. And also I heard that if you sneak up behind him he says something different. Excuse me, but could you please stop staring at my back? It's rude. Won't find anything back there anyway. All right, so let's uh, go to this front. <laughs> oh, there's a zipper in the back. Oh, that's why it's called zipper. Seriously, cut that out. Last warning. Instead of looking, why don't you try listening for once? Okay, well, how do I actually talk to him then? Because... Oh, yeah, I forgot to mention something kind of important earlier. Here's the deal. If you're ever short by one egg of a certain type, I can help you out. I'll give you one egg of your choice, and all you have to do is give me three of a different egg type. Bippity-bop, not a bad deal, eh? All you need to say is, let's trade, and I know what you'll mean. So, did you need something? Uh, I have eggs. I forgot to tell him I have the eggs. So, uh, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. Wonderfully, wonderful. You have all six type of eggs. Yippity, skippity, yay. All right, I'm going to take one of each type of egg. Is that okay? Go for it. So, I forgot this. I So, I did learn, I guess, all the recipes, but it, he gives you an item that, that, you, ha that you can get. That's a, It's a bunny day basket. It's not a recipe. It's time to celebrate. Here we go. Boing the yay, hippity hop hooray, what a wonderful, wonderful day, egg filled day. There we go. All right, kid, enjoy the rest of your bunny day. All right, so I did get another, I did get a new basket, which, uh, I mean, thanks, thanks for leaving the comments, guys, because I would have missed it. I thought that he, are, I don't know what, but I thought that he gave me something for those eggs already, but I totally missed it. And uh, I just wanted to include a little bit of that gameplay, uh, you know, for, for uh, the rest of Sunday here. We're going to jump to Monday in just a second. But um, I just thought I would do that because I, I totally forgot. I really did. And so I just put it down here. And like I said, this is going to be the last time this room looks anything like this. So, Bunny Day, place the item. There we go. That's all the Bunny Day stuff. Can't believe. Whoop, can't believe. Oh, I also I switched out. <laughs> I switched out uh, the wallpaper here. But, you know, you'll get the idea. I put the wallpaper back. I was going to get all the items and stuff them away in my inventory. And then this room would be probably hold my turnips as well. All right, guys, it's like 3 in the morning, 3.32 in the morning, and I'm doing some work on the middle courtyard area. I cleared some flowers, and look, there's some sort of a crazy creature on that tree over there. I'm going to go catch it, and uh, that's going to be exciting. Uh, Zipper's still here, but i got to catch this really quick. And uh, I wasn't even planning on recording tonight, but I got my mic set up and ready to go because this thing is here. And boom, got it. Wow. That is beautiful. That is yes. I caught an atlas moth. <laughs> I bet it never gets lost. <laughs> so very cool. I mean, I wasn't even planning on recording yet. Uh, but uh, yeah, so what I'm doing right now, just to explain, is I'm kind of creating a path uh, to try to figure out uh, how I'm going to center the courtyard here. The weird thing is, if you take a look, the uh, this door right here is kind of centered right here. So there's two spaces on each side of it. And then this path right here... Uh, is centered over here, so there's like an area of three that encompasses both. So I'm going to put one extra space on each side. So I kind of have a five space going on here, and then I'm going to try to figure out exactly where the uh, where the fountain's going to go. I think that'll make a great centerpiece. So I'll grab that. No, no clue how big that is. It's probably like four across, not five. But we'll see. Um, and then I'll get everything placed, and then tomorrow uh, in the morning when I start recording again, uh, I'm going to come back and uh, show you what I got. What is up guys, Zach Scott here playing Animal Crossing New Horizons. Hello there everyone right now in Astoria, it's 147, April 13th, 2020. Hmm, there really isn't any news to speak of today, but... Oh, listen to this, I was having a hard time with my crossword puzzle, but I finally figured it out. Er, uh, oh dear, I guess it doesn't really qualify as news, does it? That's all for now, I hope uh, you all enjoy the loveliest of lovely days. So thank you, Isabel, for that, that news. <laughs> um, okay. So what are we doing today? Well, I have a couple things to do. Uh, one, check the mail, of course. Hello. Uh, oh, Ashley sent me some stuff, and Daisy May sent me some stuff, too. Let's figure this out. What's Daisy May sending? Thank you kindly for always buying my turnips. Here's some freshly picked bamboo shoots. Nice. Thank you. Eat them, plant them. Do what pleases you. I'm going to keep them. Uh, Ashley, here you go, hot stuff. Placed. Uh, gave me a gift. Thank you, Ashley. Here's a steamy gift. Thank you. I think I or I she had some stuff in her shop that I decided to get. And like I said, I was working uh, like in, in the middle of the night on my courtyard. 
and that's a pop-up toaster, and then that is a kettle. So that's both for my kitchen, which I'm working on. I caught a bunch of peacock butterflies. I need to turn in uh, this atlas moth. And uh, so, yeah, let me kind of explain. Well, let me go in here first. Let's just drop it off, and then I'll explain what's going on. Uh, I'm working on a courtyard system because I want to move the shops up to the front. And I know I can't always like rely on input. Like, well, what should I do? What should I do? What should I do? And so what I'm trying to do is, I want that. What I'm trying to do is kind of just figure out what to do. I made some stone fencing. You'll see what's gonna happen. Let me just store this stuff really quick because I don't want to carry it around with me because we, you know, we could we could easily fill up. Uh, <laughs> but it looks like we already have filled up a bunch. Uh, pop up toaster, put in storage. There we go. This looks good. And I got a lot of bugs to get rid of. So um, check it out. I put my turnips up here. In this room, I cleared out all the bunny day stuff. It's gone. The bunny day stuff is just gone. I'm done with it. <laughs> More turnips are here. So yeah, I got over five hundred thousand dollars bells worth of turnips, and I'm gonna sell them to someone, someone's town. It's gonna be great. So um, what I'm doing is I'm making a courtyard. I'm trying to figure out a layout, and I, you know, I know that there's limits to my creativity. I'm not gonna think of every single thing. So your input's always welcome, but I know I can't always rely on everyone's input. I'm gonna have to like, you know, inject my own creativity into it. I'm gonna try my best. So that's what I'm gonna do. What? How many, how many bells do I have? I hear there's a three three hundred three hundred ninety four. Great. I hear there's a way to test out your trees and find out your schedule so you can know when you should plant uh, the uh, you know the ninety nine thousand bells and it'll come back. We'll see about that. Here's what I'm working on. This is my courtyard. Hey Marshall, how do you like it? Ciao, sulky. Let's talk. It's that time of day when I really want a snack, but I don't want to ruin my appetite either. All right. Well, what else? Yo, you want to chat? I don't blame you. Let's chat. Whoa, you're dressed the nines today, maybe even the tens. What's the occasion? Launching a new fragrance? Attending a new fragrance launch? <laughs> They're both fragrance related? Well, I'm out of ideas. Help me out, Zach. All right, I'm out of ideas too, and looks like labels here. So here's what I've done. I've kind of made a pattern that I want my courtyard to be right here, and this is just an early pattern. I'm just gonna have it. There's not gonna be a walkway right here. Uh, instead, it's just gonna go directly into this area. So this is what I've done. I hope you kind of like what I've done. I've decided to center it on uh, the, the resident services building and uh, not center it on the uh, on, on this airport. So this airport will just come in, it's off center. I wish I could move the airport over one space. If I could do that, that'd be perfect, but I can't, I can't change that now. I'm too invested in this island. Uh, I've been watering these roses uh, just to make sure they grow. Uh, whoa, whoa, P Pashmina is playing spin the wheel over there. So let's uh, let's water these. I caught a whole bunch of butterflies like in the middle of the night last night. They were really here. Are you kidding me? Okay, that's the end of the line for my flimsy watering can. Do I have like a recipe for a better version of that? I don't even know. What kind of moth is that? Okay, that's just a regular one. We've caught those before probably. Uh, so what I'm doing is I'm, I'm putting a board. I call it a boardwalk because I originally thought it was going to be made of wood, but it's, it's this color now. Like a walk here. I measured out this is like going to be the Abel uh, sister's shop right here, but I don't know if I should put a fence around it first or if I should um, or if I should just you know put it right up against the sidewalk. That's something I haven't decided yet, and so I will decide that very soon. I just haven't done it yet. Also, take a look over here. I went ahead and built these. Uh, I'm, I'm so tired of, po of pole vaulting over this, so I just I just did that. That's it for now. Uh, we'll figure it out. And, uh, you know, I'll figure out what I, I, I might use this. That might look be a good look um, for over in the in the courtyard area. I don't know. Let's take it. Take it with us. Take it with us. There we go. And uh, any message in, in the bottle? Let's see. Message in a bottle. Someone said to put this on a higher elevation. I don't know. I mean, I could obviously make it higher there. I don't know why I would do that, though. Uh, it looks good where it is. I actually looked at the Lighthouse movie, the one with Willem Dafoe and Robert Pattinson, and I don't think their lighthouse was on a higher elevation, so that's where I'm at with it right now. I think it looks good. <laughs> but, hey, change my mind in the comments below. Those are probably actually fossils because the egg stuff is over. Thank goodness. So, um, yeah, I've just been working my courtyard, and I, I, it's not done. Uh, I don't even know if it's close to being done. And, oh, man, I should have made the announcement at my microphone. What was my announcement? I don't know. We have some. We have a butterfly or two to donate, and uh, we need to make a new watering can, and we need to talk to you. Give me something cool. Oh, we meet again. You know, there's still so much to learn about design here on Astoria. In fact, I wonder if maybe you might help with a little style exercise. It goes like this. 
I'll call out a specific fashion theme, and then you change into an outfit that matches that theme. You'll have to model it for me, of course, but I'll give you a gift for your trouble. Sure, why not? Wonderful. Thanks so much. Thank you so much. Let's get to it. I'd like you to show me an everyday outfit. You know, something you'd wear on any ordinary day. Try picking out simple yet stylish clothes that you can wear for all sorts of occasions. I'll give you some everyday clothing so you have an idea of what I'm going for. Uh, so yeah, this is going to be way easier than the fantasy clothing. Uh, there you go. It's a T parka combo. All you have to do is keep this piece in mind as you put together an everyday outfit. If you're not sure what to do, just wear something that would go well with it. That's exactly that's exactly what I'll do. So, uh, I, I skipped what she said. Anyway, she'll be right here. Uh, I'm going to make sure that this looks good for her. Um... So yeah, I want to move, you know, it here. But I, I was thinking, you know, then this is this is a dimension of the shop, I believe. Uh, of course, I might want to move it back some, uh, but we can visualize it later, and we'll see exactly how it looks. Um, but I was also thinking, you know, I could put a fence up here, and then the fence would, you know, I could put the shop here, and then do like a little fence around it, so that it's, you know, there's a little more, it's a little more involved. Uh, but I don't know if that's necessary. You know, I really don't know. Um, because I need places to put flowers, and I was trying to figure out where to put flowers. I was probably going to put street lights, like, like in the corners here. And uh, the garden bench, you know, I was thinking about just sitting it straight up right here. Boom. And why, why face that way? Okay, here we go. Let's rotate it, if possible. <sighs> Are you kidding me? Come on. Just rotate it. Why? Okay. There we go. Perfect. So, you know, I don't know if that's a good space for it. I kind of maybe want it up one more. I don't know. There you go. That might be good. That way you can still walk through and someone could sit. But if they're sitting, can I walk in front of them? I don't even know. But you guys get the idea of what I'm going with the courtyard, right? There's another one of these. These are... I don't know if these sell for a lot, but I mean, they, these guys appear all the time when I'm doing stuff. So, let's grab those. It's another uh, peacock butterfly. Ah! <laughs> all right. Things break. I get it. There's chops. When is he going to tell me to move out? Or the, he's going to move out. Pashmina, what's up? Sup, kidders? Where are you headed? Uh, let's talk. Let's talk real quick. This island's got a ton of foods I've never heard of. I'm trying to come up with meals for as many as I can. And then what else? You again, kidders? Did you forget something last time? Let's just chat. I talked to my mom on the phone the other day. There were some bizarre rumors about me back home. <laughs> did you know I moved here to fight a giant sea monster? Neither did I. <laughs> First, I haven't seen a single sea monster here. Second, what do they expect me to do? Hurl insults at it? It's almost as weird as that rumor where I moved to the moon to focus on painting landscapes. Like, huh? I mean, is painting landscapes on the moon even possible? I think so. I think you should give it a try. If, if a story... I, I, I don't want Pashmina to move out of Astoria. Uh, the only reason I would is so that I could bring her back in and she'd have a better house. Because I hear that like your first residents don't have good houses. I don't know if that's a bug or if that's intentional. But I've heard that. So anyway, yeah, so there's going to be a... This is a three-width path. This is a two-width path. And then, you know, I don't know about what should go up here. The thing is, if I put Able Sisters here, what's going to go behind it? You know what I mean? Like, I do want the boardwalk, but I also want some sort of something or rather around here. So maybe I would put the fence and then just try to... Uh, I don't know. I'm going to get ideas and I'm going to figure it out. Uh, but here's the thing I wanted to mention, and like I, I know it's a little late in the video. I don't know if a lot of people stick around this long <laughs> sometimes. Uh, but uh, I want to start doing island tours. If you have a five-star island, I am interested in coming to your island and making a video on there. We'll figure out the details uh, later. But let me know in the comments. You know how? I, I don't know how. Maybe uh, message me on Twitter. Let, let me know in the comments. We'll figure out a way for me to come to your island. I won't mess it up. I won't like you know be an idiot about it <laughs> i just want to come see what you got going on if it's a five star island i can start making some island tour style videos i don't know if there'll be a, if it'll be a new series it just depends on how well it does i don't know if maybe uh it'll just be like you know like maybe episode 34 is an island tour i don't know it just depends on how this goes but i hope uh that you guys are into that idea because uh, i know that people watch this series a lot to see um I should be in front of the microphone. This. <laughs> no, I know that people watch this series to see my island, but so maybe I would do a new series and it would just be island tours. And that sounds pretty cool to me. Uh, so if you're into that idea, uh, you know, let people, and it, maybe if you don't have a five star island yourself, let people that you know who have a five star island that I'm interested in coming to your island 
and filming there and checking things out. I'm sure I'll get a bunch of ideas. I don't. I'm not gonna copy a bunch of ideas. Maybe I will. Maybe I'll just copy like a whole bunch of like one idea from each island <laughs> into my island. I don't know. Uh, but again, let let me know if you think that's a good idea or a bad idea because you know I could just not look at anyone's island. But eventually I'm gonna go to like Jordan's island again. He's gonna get some stuff I'm gonna learn from. Ashley is as well. Yashi is working on her island, and uh, she said it should be ready in about two weeks. So. I won't be able to showcase hers for a while, uh, but just an idea. And do I not have anything better than a flimsy watering can? So let me know if you want to see that. I know that uh, a lot of people have been requesting that. I, yeah, I can. A lot of people have been requesting that I go on island tours, and you know, I've, I've thought about it. I used to kind of go on Minecraft tours uh, to other people's Minecraft servers, and that was fun. Uh, that was a long time ago. That was years ago. And so, yeah, I would totally be interested in visiting other people's islands. Just, uh, you know, I used to do it on the old Animal Crossing series, New Leaf, through just the, the dream codes. Uh, but this would, be, this would be much different. This would be actually going on a tour. You'll be there, and we'll be touring, and I don't know, if, you know, I don't know how it's going to work. I haven't really thought much about it other than that, hey, I should go on island tours because you guys seem to want me to. And I guess it'll probably be a different series now that I think about it. So, keep crafting. We'll make the regular net as well. Let me know what you think about that idea. And uh, if you have a, uh, you know, I don't know, we'll figure it out. I have a Discord server too, if you want to get in touch with me there. And um, I'll figure it out, I'll figure it out. All done for now, mid the net. It's a new hour. I gotta look cool. Oh, here's a gift, this is a, whoa! No, I have one of those. I think, here we go, this is real, this is real. There we go, this is a real gift. I bet my inventory is almost completely full. Present. Open. 10,000 bells. Thank you. Put away. So this is great because I actually will be able to plant the 11,000 bells. And so this is kind of the, the the trick that I've heard about is that you... Here, I'll chop this down. I don't know if this is too close or what, but I'll chop it down regardless. This looks really close to the other one. So, goodbye to you. This is, the, this is a really cool trick that you can do. You can, like... No, that's not it. You can you can basically start making a schedule, and you can determine w like when you can find a pattern as to when uh, you should be able to. Um... So since it's a new week, I'm gonna no. <laughs> Here I'll show you. I'll show you exactly what I mean. You dig? There you go. You plant eleven thousand bells because apparently ten thousand bells. And people pointed this out to me when I got the 99,000 bells, is that there's actually a pattern, and that like there are days that I can plant 99,000 bells, and it will for sure give out, you know, all sorts. Uh, you know, it will for sure give out 99,000 bells when it grows into three times three. You know what I'm saying, right? I, I jumbled that up, but that's okay. So uh, let me take out the money. How do I do that? Take, yeah, 10,000 bells. Great. And then you so I don't know if I'm explaining this very well, but basically you bury 11,000 bells. And if it comes up as 11,000 bells times three, then you know that that specific day was a day that you could have done 99,000 bells times three, but the risk is much lower. And so if you figure out your pattern, then you can know which days to, to plant 99,000 bells. So this is just an experiment. And so this day, and you know, we could label this. What's today? Today's Monday, April 13th. Uh, so how would I label this? Cause I'm gonna, I don't want to forget. I mean, I could always go back in my videos and watch, but let's look at custom designs. This is the, this is the boardwalk thing I tried to make. It did not turn out good. Uh, but I can make a new one, right? Where? No, change design. <laughs> and so today is the April thirteenth. So we could just, and this is gonna look sloppy. How do, how do I do this? I don't. I've never done this before. April <laughs> 13. Here we go. This is... All right. I guess not even this. Okay. Anyway, it, it does look a little bit sloppy, but that's okay. There we go. And so now, and the, the four is even bigger. Anyway, done. Design pattern. We're fine. Design pattern. I don't care what it's called because this is not going to be here forever. And so, what I would I would place that on the ground, right? Is this the first time I've done this? I guess so. Uh, so how do I display on ground? Yeah. Okay. So that's April thirteenth. 
And what we want to do is we want to gather a lot of data for this. And then see. And I, I wouldn't have even known about this had you guys not let me know. Because I, po I posted like the, the 99,000 times 3 tree that I found. I posted about that on Twitter, on Instagram, and also on my YouTube story and my YouTube. I posted on YouTube. I was so thrilled about it when it happened. And also, I, of course, in the video, I got so many comments from people like all over the place, several different social networks telling me about this. And so like, um, I looked up a video on how to do it. And this is basically how, how they did it. Of course, I'm not, I don't think I'll make a, my own video. Uh, like my, I don't think I'll make my own individual video about it, but I'm definitely making a video right now in a way. So take this, you know, and you'll know what to do. <laughs> so we got a, uh, what was the uh, item we got? You know what, we'll go to the Able Sisters really quick. Chat with them a little bit. We need to go to Blathers as well. We got Cherries, great. Uh, but let's go to the Able Sisters. And again, you know, we could test it out here. Like, I, I, like a fence would look like, you know, me putting a fence around it maybe, and then around the back. But what would go in the back? Like, what do people usually put behind their buildings? I don't even know. Um, because there's not a lot to, you know, I guess it could look like this. But you could put stuff behind the building, like flowers or something. But uh, I don't really know what to go for. Here's another butterfly. Might as well just catch it since I'm here. Oh, the watering can. Did I make the net? I did make the net. But here we go. We need to favorite this one. They put the watering can in as a favorite. The watering can is not one of my favorites. But it's okay. Uh, let's move that up here. And let's move the watering can over here. I meant to water the rest of those roses, those black roses, because apparently, there's so much about this game I don't know, but apparently you can uh, get gold roses by watering black roses and then they propagate. We'll figure it out, right? So there's one watered. My water, oh wow, my watering pattern is off the, off the charts. This is great, I'm watering like three plants at once. And then there's yet another uh, butterfly. My goodness, so many butterflies. I'm gonna be selling butterflies, like a lot of them, in a second. After I donate the Atlas Moth, which is gonna freak Blathers out. There we go. But you see what I'm doing with the courtyard there? I'm gonna work on it a little bit more, uh, and then figure out exactly what's gonna happen here. I don't know if I'm just gonna put the Able Sisters right up on the edge, or what, but I do wanna move it. I just don't have enough money to move it yet. And that's the main thing, because I keep, Spending money on turnips or burying money. I don't have any money. I'm going here without any money. So that tells me I need to find uh, the money rock. And then I'll be prepared to buy some stuff here. We got some new hair. That's pretty sweet. Hey there, welcome to Able Sisters, where we sell fashions made lovingly by Clar. Uh, there's some pants there. We we're looking for an everyday suit. Ah, Zach, welcome back. It's um, nice of you to keep supporting Able Sisters so we can be the best shop we can be. All right, looks like your favorite customer came by again today, Sable. <laughs> Every day for like a week it's been, do you think Zach will stop by today? And I'm all, sis, confine your spines. We're not even open yet. <laughs> but Mabel, <laughs> she's got a crush on me. She's got a crush on me. Don't worry, sis. Zach is too nice to ever make fun of you, right, Zach? I I don't know what I'll do. <laughs> I don't know what I'll do. Don't hold me to that. You want to say anything else? A lot of my work has to be done pretty precisely so my shoulders get real stiff. But today, after we close up shop, Mabel's giving me a back rub. You didn't forget, did you, Mabel? Eh, sis, I don't know. Hedgehog back rubs are no joke, and my protective gloves wore through. <laughs> oh, I'm totally kidding. Unlike old Grable there, I'm still pretty young and spry. I can handle it. Don't, what? Don't be so mean. You're the one making fun of her, Mabel. Oops, that was too much, huh? Or Sorry, sis. All right, well, that was a cool conversation. I need, oh, there's my everyday outfit. That's cool. That looks like something Cat would wear. So I should get that. I want to dress like Cat. So hold on, my everyday outfit's gonna look super cool. Of course, she gave me a parka. Maybe I gotta wear that, but that Cat outfit looks pretty stylish. Uh, let me get some money. I need to get some money. Uh, and by that, you know, you know, we get to check. I need to make the donation to Blathers too. The Atlas Moth is a pretty cool find. Uh, so. Oh, the money rock. The money rock right off the bat. That's what I like to see. That makes the video shorter. <laughs> I don't mind making long videos, and long videos, honestly, you know, they get good retention lately, especially with Animal Crossing. This series has been doing really well on my channel. You know, like, I know, like, uh, some some channels, like, that only focus on Animal Crossing, you know, are performing better than, than mine when it comes to Animal Crossing. Uh, so it's just all over the place sometimes like it just depends on what series I do like sometimes I can do a brand new series Like my first episode is like 2 million views and that's all thanks to you guys, you know leaving like over 40,000 likes So thank you so much for your support 
Uh, but you know, sometimes like later on in, in, in any series, the views you know drop off a little bit. Uh, but Animal Crossing hasn't dropped off like as much as I thought it would. So a lot of you guys are still watching the series, and that makes me excited to just keep playing this game over and over every day, logging in every day, making big plans, ma making plans to even expand uh, you know the episodes into something much more than what they are now. So there we go, we got that another butterfly. What, what's going on with these roses? They, they're all sparkly, so maybe tomorrow they'll, they'll propagate. Let's give Blathers uh, the moth so that we can sell the other moths. Or not moth, butterfly. But there's, there's a previous money tree. I don't remember, so I don't, I don't have that date marked. So anyway, it is what it is. Let's go see what's up. Blathers, it's time to wake up. I got a special thing for you. I don't have any fossils yet, but I will. Oh dear, pardon me. Why, hello, Zach. Welcome to the Astoria Museum. All right, let's make a donation here. Marvelous, what would you like to donate? Honestly, my Animal Crossing series is like me talking to you guys series. That's what it basically is. Atlas Moth. He's going to freak out. Eek! An Atlas Moth. What a wretched thing. Alas, I'm obliged to ask, would you like to learn more about the specimen? Tell me. Uh, I, I see. In that case, ahem. the Atlas Moth is a monstrous thing. Not only is it one of the largest moths in the world, the tips of its wings look rather like the heads of venomous snakes. Despite its largeness and loathsome looks, the adult Atlas Moth lives only for a few days. It's sad. So I'm going to give this to you instead of die in the museum. It emerges from its cocoon without a m mouth, you see, so it cannot eat. I feel for the poor thing, but it is still foul. Anywho, my sincerest thanks for your donation. And though bugs are the bane of my existence, rest assured the wretched thing will get the best of care here. What kind of care can you possibly give the Atlas Moth that doesn't eat? <laughs> You're just going to like let it sit there in a little cage until it dies? Or just let it go, Blathers? <laughs> is there anything else I can help you with? I'm fine. But that moth is not. So, <laughs> good luck, Blathers, with that. I mean, he's prob that's probably what he does with all of them. He probably just keeps them in cages and watches them die. He hates bugs so much. So, uh, the money tree's over here. This is good because it, it gives me money. So let's just go ahead and shake that tree. And then, uh, yeah, we have enough for clothes for sure. So I'm going to go try on some new clothes. Uh, I'm going to be happy with... Uh, can I try on... Is it only new clothes that I can try on? Or can I try on my own set of clothes that I, I have here? I forgot to sell. Darn, I forgot to sell the other ones. That's okay. It's not okay. I need to figure this out. Hold on. Let me go here. Let me go here. I'll figure it out. Yeah, I, I want the booth. I want the booth. The fitting room's exactly what's up. We're going in here. So, uh, yeah, this is cat. This is like old school jacket. But I have to, like, everything. Um, this is only stuff that they sell, right? Yeah, this is only stuff that they sell. So let me, oh, man. Okay, let me take a step back. I'm sorry. Let me take a step back. I'm going to go to my house, change it into my new, my, actually, I don't have to go to my house. I just, I'm right here. Uh, wear a new, okay, yep, yeah, that's something. Let's wear uh, this right here, which is the T-Parka combo. So I'm going for an everyday look. That's not a bad combo. That's a cool looking thing. So a T Parker combo, um, everyday look. Everyday look with that. I mean, the pink looks good on me, right? Uh, the pink shorts, right? Go well, no. But let's all, let's just we're gonna get all new stuff here. Um, so let's take a look again. All right, go right ahead. We're gonna get fitted. Here we go. So I already got this. I want this jacket. Uh, I'll get it later. Uh, so. Denim painter's pants. That looks pretty cool. What goes best with pink? Blue or... I think black It looks kind of good with the pink. But there's different colors of blue. Go. We could go really... Oh, and light blue looks kind of cool. With the pink. Kind of... Kind of. I mean, we're still in spring, right? Spring has sprung. The white looks kind of... Kind of fashionable, too. The blue... I think I like the dark. The dark looks best with the... I don't know. What, I'm trying to think about the contrast here. I'm getting way too into this. Jogging shorts is where it's at. Jogging shorts... Every day, we're going with every day. I don't want jogging shorts, actually. Uh, rain pants. What are rain pants? And they look cool. I don't know what rain pants are. I've never worn rain pants in my life, I don't think. Beige, I'm thinking the dark is looking good. Denim cap, kind of a cool look for every day. You know what? Let's let's keep it fresh. We're in spring. We're going white and pink, basically, is it. And a uh, visual punk wig. Bottom rim glasses. Ugh. I don't think I like those at all. But the pink looks kind of cool. I definitely want the hockey mask. There you go. That's it. That's the style we're looking for now. Bring back the cap. 
Uh, let's go these everyday socks. You're looking for an everyday outfit, right? How about everyday socks? Shade-wise... <laughs> butterfly shades. Look at that. That's kind of a cool look, sort of. Oh, but tube socks, I think, would look good. I don't know. Every I think let's go everyday socks. What kind of shoes are we aiming for today? The pink and high-tech sneakers. Those look cool. Now this, I mean, I, I probably won't wear the, the the glasses. Oh, actually, the sandals might be kind of sweet. Everyone likes sandals with socks. Let's go with the high-tech shoes. I, I'm getting really into this. I'm really making a look for me that that <laughs> that looks like. Cool. I don't like. The, I don't think I like the sunglasses. But everything else, I mean, I would probably wear this. I'm just not gonna wear glasses. Purchase this. This looks good, and I wanna I wanna make the purchase and wear what I pick. I think I look fresh. Everyday look. I look great, she says. All right, and ship what I was wearing before to my storage at home. Furthermore, though, I am gonna take off my glasses, you know, just kind of keep it even more casual. And then um, I want to buy. Um, I do want to buy the. There's a couple things I want to buy. I just don't have room. Let me go up here. I think I'm looking pretty fresh, and I hope that you guys enjoy this part of the game. But sometimes, you know, Label, Label, whatever her name is, comes here. Helps me out. So, here we go. Bum ba dum bum bum ba dum bum. I can just put a wall behind the. Anyway, what is that? That's like an outdoor cooking stuff. It's a bike. That's pretty sweet. Uh, I need to sell a bunch of stuff. A bunch of just insects to you guys. A bunch of butterflies to be specific. Maybe you can knock them out with some sort of gas and then pin them up on a board. But <laughs> I don't know what you guys do with these. Oh, not the iron. No, no, no. The butterflies. We are butterfly rich here. Rich in butterfly. Uh, look at all the fine things you brought in today. And then how much are they? How much are you gonna pay? 26,000, that's a good deal. Sold. Awesome. All right, great. And then uh, I do like to check on your, uh, your, your things here, your wallpapers. So that's cool, gray diner wall. I'll take that. I'll buy it. That looks really cool. Looks like uh, for like, I put it maybe in the kitchen. I don't know. Pastel puzzle flooring, beige desert. I think I have the white honeycomb. I think I'm good. I mean, all of that. That's a cool look. Maybe I can't really see it. I'll pass. I'll pass. I'm good. And then I need to uh, over here. I'll buy. Thank you. What was over here? Oh no, there it is. Um, this is more for camping. This is more for. Although for camping, I'm, I'm gonna want to redo my campsite a little bit, so I'll buy this, and then I'll buy this too. And I, I don't know how much I have to spend with these guys for them to want to upgrade their store, but I would like it if they upgraded their store. That'd be nice. Seems like you're interested in camp stove. Yes, I'll I'll get it. That'll go for by the campsite, and the bike looks cool too. Uh, I might as well spin spin the bike. There we go. Ashley would really like this bike. I got a yellow mountain bike, and I'll buy it. Here we go. All right, excellent purchase, excellent purchase. Yes, thank you for the 5,100 bells. Now, uh, I'm gonna go uh, buy some clothes. I'm on a shopping spree today. I don't know what my dailies are, I didn't even look at them, but I'm on a shopping spree right now. All right, and then let's go uh, up here. I, I made a lot of money selling those butterflies, and that was basically me just working on my courtyard and then uh, trying to, uh, you know, just, uh, just trying to work on the courtyard and butterflies would fly by. Snake's in here. Snake. Yo, Zach, does your jog route go through here? What's the latest? The only reason I ever wear clothes is to highlight my muscles <laughs> and stay warm <laughs> and not get sunburned. <laughs> yeah, and also to move. Uh, let's go by the stuff that was in here really quick. All right, hello there. Oh, do you need the fitting room? Go right ahead. All right, and then Ursa, what's wrong? What's wrong, Ursa? All right, hold on, I gotta take my dog out. Be right back. All right, guys, I am back. I have to go play fetch with Ursa. Anyway, I want this, and I want uh, this right here. There you go. Those are two cool looks. I'm gonna purchase them, but not wear them out. There we go, and I guess it will be sent to my locker or whatever, my storage. Thank you. Thanks for putting my storage at home. I think this is a fresh enough look to go ahead and uh, basically say, hey, 
<laughs> hey, this looks good. <laughs> so let's see if that's the case. Um, I don't know. I think, yeah, let's go back then. And you know, I'll probably farm the cherries another way. But this looks good, right? This looks good. This looks great. Let's chat. I see you've changed clothes. Can I take a look at the outfit you came up with? Sure, of course. Oh, good. Let's see it then. Ah, hmm. I see. What is it? Is it good? Wonderful. That's it. That's it exactly. Your combination of clothing radiates that perfectly that perfect everyday look. There's just so much I can learn from your sense of style. Thank you. I'm going to send a thank you gift to your home. Remember to use tailored tickets at the tailor shop, okay? And please take this too. I made it with my own two paws. Thank you, a new hat. Very cool. It's another design for my label, a label cap. <laughs> I hope you like that style. I don't know if it's label or label. Uh, this is a new design I just finished. I'm planning to have it sold at the tailor shop. Well, I'm looking forward to seeing you again. Thank you for being so very helpful. All right, awesome. Uh, let me pull out a net and catch this guy because he's just here, ready to go. Boom. All right, awesome. Another peacock butterfly. I get to sell these, of course. So, uh, what, what my dailies are, I guess we're getting these done, right? Let's see how many miles I have. I got one more path to buy. And I only got one done. Catch five butterflies or five bugs. Did it. Uh, there are no times five here. If I uh, grow a fruit tree, if I access my wardrobe and change my look, I can do that too. Uh, catch fish, catch a horse mackerel to be specific. Uh, over here, uh, we got flower tender. And I got a uh, refined caretaker. And I think I'm gonna be able to afford the final uh, good things in store. There we go, Did we, we max this out, nice. Invulnerable life hacker, 5,000 nook miles. Oh my gosh, that's cool. Based on the number of items you have in storage. Oh, in storage, very interesting. And then uh, first custom design, I, I guess. That counts, aspiring artist. So, I mean, I got a lot of nook miles. Uh, anything else? No, we're good, we're good. So, uh, let's go ahead and, and check out here really quick before we leave. I'll work on my uh, my design for, because um, I might have enough bell. I don't know if I have enough bells to relocate Abel's shop yet. Uh, double check here. Uh, new flooring, blue rubber flooring. Claim it, that was mine. I left, I left it here a long time ago. <laughs> then we got a nook stop. And we get the miles for that too, very cool. And then uh, let's uh, redeem Nook Miles. Let's first, we'll, uh, we'll I definitely want the, uh, uh, I have those two fences, I think. But the dark uh, dirt path permit shall be mine. Then I got all of the permits. I wish they would release more. I hope they release more. Uh, redeem, of course. There we go. Also, guys, I'll be ordering four of these street lamps. They'll be arriving in the mail eventually, but I don't want to sit here for all four. I mean, I have to sit here for all four, but you don't have to. All right, we are now in like the fossil time zone. Whoa, fossil time. And uh, <laughs> I gotta get a few fossils. I, I know they're all around here. Uh, you know, first, there's a money tree here though. No, not first, I mean second, there's a money tree. I just did one fossil. So there's another money tree, which is great. Uh, I don't know if I have enough money to move Able Sisters now, but you know, we got, we got, we got time to get even more money. I might even farm a few fruits. Uh, but right now we're looking for fossils. And then uh, once I get all my fossils, I will turn them into blathers. All right, I've had blathers assess all of my fossils. I had six and only one of them was new to him, a T-Rex skull, so we're gonna confirm that. And I don't know if that completes the T-Rex fossil or not, but uh, it is a T-Rex skull. He's told us a lot about, yet yeah, the T-Rex is complete and a splendid specimen indeed. The T-Rex was a remarkable creature. And of course he would wanna tell me about it, but no thanks, he's already told me about it before. So what a shame, but hey, there you go. I just realized I can get a uh, fossil assessment Nook Miles thing here. So there we go. We got a history-loving researcher for 1,000 Nook Miles. All right, Pashmina has a flea on her. Got it. <laughs> I caught a flea. The curse is lifted. And then what's she going to say? Having fleas is pretty bad. But on the bright side, now I know I'm not allergic to those rag clothes. <laughs> Thanks for the assist, kidders. All right, no problem. No problem. And then what, what did I get here? Did I get something done for that? Another flea, maybe? Uh, let's see, we got uh, True Friends. There we go, that's my second flea caught. Oh, that's only one. Uh, Soothing Pal. What was this all about? Let's see. It's good news for Nook Inc. when island residents get along. Good relationships are cornerstone of an island development. So I guess she's a true friend of mine. Very cool. Very, very cool to know Pashmina is a good friend. Hopefully she'll stay here. But I mean, like, her house is so basic. I don't know. <laughs> Whoa, this thing looks different. What is this? Yes! I caught a, a Madagascan sunset moth. Wow, you're not from around here. So I'd never seen that before, but I caught it. Very cool. 
Uh, I've just been working on my site down here. I cha I'm changing the, the, the tile texture. I think that looks good, but I don't know. Pashmina just changed clothes. <laughs> cool. Um, so yeah, I don't know how much more of this you know I'm gonna do. Uh, I'm gonna wait till my street lights come in before finishing this, but uh, I'm thinking about, uh, nope, hold on. It's so hard, you gotta do one tile at a time. There needs to be like a designer or something, I don't know. But one tile at a time, and you know, this is still gonna be the street over here. I just, I was just messing around. Uh, I think I'm just gonna put the able shop like right here, right, right next, I'm, I'm not gonna do a fence there. I don't know, but we'll see what, how it looks. And I don't know if I have enough money yet to move it. I've been catching a lot of butterflies. Uh, let's go ahead and turn in this one butterfly really quick. And then tomorrow I, I will finish my courtyard and we'll see how this goes. Uh, let me go turn it into blathers. My turnip prices are low today. They're, they're lower than what I bought them for. I bought them for uh, 91 and today in the PM they're 79. I, I did not get to check the, the daytime. Uh, but that's okay. So, let's donate this butterfly to him. He's gonna love it. It's one I hadn't seen before. And, uh, make a donation. Here we go. Uh, there it is. Right over there. Lots of stuff has been happening. Confirm. I also sold some coconuts to Timmy and Tommy, but I, I crafted them into the juice drinks. Alright, so let's see. Please tell me about the specimen. Ah, I see. In that case, <clears throat> the Madagascan sunset moth is said to be the most beautiful moth in the world. A sentiment even I can't deny. While most moths are nocturnal, this one flutters about during the day, making good use of the light. That is, when the daylight reflects off its wings, a kaleidoscope of colors are revealed. Oh, uh, too bad it has such a startling red feet as a caterpillar. <laughs> I might have found it almost tolerable otherwise. Almost, but not quite. Any hoot, <laughs> my sincerest thanks for your donation. So, that, okay, he actually, I think he liked that one. That was that was the first time I've seen Blathers, like, actually be positive about it a little bit. So, very cool, very cool. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and move the Able Sisters building. I think I know exactly what I want to do. Um, I, I kind of want this front area to be a little more metropolitan, and then, like, the back areas with the homes to be a little more rustic. Uh, but, anyway, we're going to see, I'm going to move Able Sisters to where I said I was going to move it. So, let's talk infrastructure. I just don't know what's gonna go behind it yet. That's the thing, I don't know what's gonna go behind it. I don't know if I'm just gonna do flowers or, or what, I don't know. Uh, but here we go, let's uh, let's talk about layout changes. And I wanna move uh, the tailors. Ah yes, the tailor shop. It's going to cost 50,000 bells to move it, so I'm gonna move it, I'm gonna move it. And then it'll be done tomorrow, and then also my... Um... Oh, did she... what happened, what happened? Oh, <laughs> well, Mabel. What do you think about Zach's suggestion to move your shop? That sounds fine by me. I'm sure Sable will be happy with which, wherever you pick too, Zach. All right then, sounds great. You just leave the rest to me and our friend Zach. All right, there we go. <laughs> I totally forgot, I didn't know I had to get their permission. I thought I could just do whatever I wanted. <laughs> I thought I was a dictator of this island. No, but yes, we're gonna move it. Since the matter of moving is now settled, I'll take what, uh, that construction fee now, it's a lot. Uh, and I hope that this location's fine. If not, then, you know, I am hopefully I'm gonna make a bunch of money selling turnips soon and thus you know moving stuff won't be a big deal unfortunately you can only move like one thing a day but for now we're gonna move it you know um we'll move it we'll move it we'll go over here and i changed the texture of this i don't know if i told you that but i changed the texture of this i thought it looked a little bit better uh especially for it being a courtyard um we'll see how it goes uh but right now i'm going to go ahead and, and put it here and let's see if it lines up appropriately uh these recipes I already have so taylor moving kit let's see it no, 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 no. I need to rethink it for sure. So I'm gonna move it over here. And let's see if it's lined up. So no, one more over, hold on. I need to rethink it, hold on. So one more over, and the, the, the tile underneath will disappear and it will be grass. I think. So I think that's it, I think that's where it's gonna go. If it doesn't look good, I'll change it later, but that's where we're gonna move it, let me imagine it. I think it's gonna look fine. Huh. I don't know, I don't know. Uh, it, I need to rethink it again, because like it seems a little bit too far, too far back for what I was wanting. I don't know how much uh, texture I can put there, so let me rethink it really quick. Uh, let's, let's see something really quick. I wanna see, I'll go over here and test it. Another butterfly. 
I've been catching so many butterflies. That's why I've been making my money today. It's just like I'm, I'm working on this courtyard and these butterflies <laughs> just come up to me and I catch them and sell them. So I don't know how much texture I can put down here. Let's see. I was messing around with it earlier, but let me just pretend that we're using the same texture here. How far can I go up? Okay, that's not too bad. That seems pretty far up. So I can't go over there, I guess. Okay, but I can do that. That's interesting. Okay, so that's as close as I can get to the area, I think. Yeah, and I was testing out putting a fence here to see if I liked it, but I don't think I do. Uh, so do we want it? I think we want it to... I think we wanted to, to have its doorstep stick out a little bit, right? And then I was also thinking about putting a bench down here, like once I moved it. So like, let's just use this as an example. This garden bench, place it. Yeah, that seems okay. I don't know, I don't know, man. I would, I mean, the, the thing is, is I'm gonna get really picky about this and I'm gonna start, start second guessing myself. Uh, so. But that looks good as is. Of course, it blocks the window view, so I probably won't do that. <laughs> um, let me think for a second. So uh, these butterflies just keep coming to me. Um, there we go. Got him. I'll sell him. Don't worry about it. So yeah. Um, I might need to come down one, I guess. If I want. I don't know. Do I want it to intrude a little bit into this area? Maybe. Do I, or, or do I want it that far back? Man, this is the hardest part of the game. Uh, let's try again. Let's see what happens if I build here. So this might be, uh, let, me, let me imagine it. Let me imagine it. Let's see what it looks like. And then, that looks good to me. We'll, we know that we'll be able to do, uh, yeah, that looks good to me. Because we'll, we'll be able to actually pull off the, um, the, uh, what am I saying? We'll be able to pull off the, the the tile there. So I think it'll look good. I think it'll look good there. Okay. I, I'm, I might change my mind later, but that'll look good there for now. New construction site. And then we'll be able to uh, put that texture down in just this, a little bit. I think that looks good. I hope it looks good. Man, I'm, it's killing me on the inside, but, <laughs> but we'll figure it out. Um... If it's not good, we'll fix it later. We'll fix it in post. <laughs> so yeah, Island Tours. Let me know if you have a five-star island you want me to tour. Uh, we'll figure out how to get in touch somehow. I don't know how, but we'll figure it out. Uh, come back next time for some more. I will see you then. Goodbye. I'm Zach Scott. Subscribe if you have not. If you like this video and want to help this channel grow, all you got to do is click the like button below. Thank you so much for watching. You can now join and become an official member of Zach Scott Games. And if you want cool shirts like this, visit Zach Scott dot shop.